Calvin, who is it? Who am I? I don't know. I'm Saint Mike. You're the boss. <laughs> and there's the other Mike. And we have Godzilla. Calvin. Yo. You want to tell the 15 percenters what we're about to do? But uh, what's it called? Turn on the boiler for heating. We're about to wire a Honeywell four wire zone valve. And this video, not sponsored by SupplyHouse.com, real people, real service is going to feature how to wire a Honeywell four wire zone valve. Kelvin, you yeah. want to do the honors? Yeah. I want to show the diagram. Honeywell four. I'll look at this diagram that I picked up off the uh, heatinghelp.com website. There's your transformer, 24 volts, right? There's two thermostats here, so let's just focus on this one, this one over here. We have 24 volts going into the thermostat, right? Leaving the thermostat, going to one end switch. I say one end of the, of the motor, and the other end is going there. So it's pretty simple, right? But a lot of guys don't know how to do this. So I'm going to show, we're going to continue this video. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You got that good, Steven? Yes, sir. There we go. Is our transformer, which we haven't wired yet. We're just going to do this here first. So let's take... 24 volts going to the thermostat right there all right that's that side now coming from our thermostat is one of the ends of the motor let's we'll cut that a little back right there and yes i know i should be twisting these together but it'll twist with the little wire nut like that see twist that too as well I'm sure you guys will make comments and now the other end of the zone of uh, the zone valve motor we'll go back to the transformer Calvin's got the blue wire nut ready look at this guys he is learning Kelvin SSB mm -hmm. all right so now we need to take the other end to a transformer which Mike has ready right there so there's that Put this back a little bit. Now, before I actually hook this up, we need to make sure that the wiring at the end of this thermostat wire is normal. So let's go head on. Oh, we just have some thermostat wire. I'm going to just undo this a little bit. Make sure we have good play in it. It's not going to go through the wall. Put that back a little bit. And I'm going to expose. The two wires that I'm using, which is red and white. And I'll just twist these over like that and just leave that like that for right now. Let's go head it back to the board. All right, here we are back at the transformer. We have R, which is 24 volts, and C, which is common, like neutral. And they already have this little pigtail coming out of it. I'm not going to bother going to there. I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to dig into here. Oops. Again, it looks like ship because that's the way zone valve wiring is. And as you can see, I try to do my best to make it look nice and pretty. But And that's it. So we're going to turn the power back on to the system and here's our zone valve that we wired up there uh, again you guys can comment feel free knock yourself out <laughs> um kelvin is going to go to the thermostat with a um the thermostat wire with a little uh, wire nut and twist red and white together and if everything is well and works well the zone valve will get 24 volts the motor will start to turn right and once it's fully energized, the little lever will hit the end switch and we'll be good to go. So Kelvin's doing that right now. As you can see, it's getting power. That end switch is about to close. And then we'll see a little radiator icon pop up on this. We already have it there on the relay, but there we have it. Now we have circulation to that zone. That zone valve is open. As you can see, we have no, re no resistance there. The other ones are closed. That's how you wire a Honeywell four-wire zone, zone valve. If you're one of the 15%ers, I really appreciate 
you're, you're subscribing to the channel, and if you're an 85 percenter, the best thing you can do to support this channel is hit that subscribe button. And if you like com content like that, that's the only way I'm going to get more video, make, post more videos, is by you guys subscribing. Mm -hmm. I like to see 10,000, 100,000. Why not? Make, let me get a million subscribers out there. Get it. We're one of the best plumbing and HVAC contractors in the, in the Long Island area. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless America.